My YouTube channel just reached 25,000 subscribers. Don't dare to unsubscribe to get me below that number. <laughs> I am watching you. <laughs> As you may see from this chart, there is no any overnight success that is just slow growing. And actually, if you will look on my indie revenue numbers, you can see about the same. Okay, let me... Yeah, here it is. Basically, that's starting from almost zero and kind of growing. And that is this small consistent but growing all the time indie revenue <laughs> subscribers how that's related and yeah is 25,000 subscribers a lot or not i'm living in a city with 50,000 population and 25k is obviously half of the city so and that is city number four from size here in Latvia. Basically, if everyone would live here, I probably would be most popular person in the town, you know? <laughs> so that's a lot. If I would compare my YouTube channel with Mr. Beast channel, that basically is nothing. But those are totally wrong things to compare, of course. And yeah, let me explain why. Let's talk about indie app revenue. Currently, I am on about two and a half thousand on monthly recurring revenue. If you are just starting indie app development and you are making 200 or 20 or even 2 uh, euros or dollars in a month in recurring revenue, that doesn't make any sense to compare my numbers with your numbers because I'm doing that part-time for a few years already. And on the beginning I was making also 5-10 bucks in a month. For me, it doesn't make sense to compare my numbers with someone who is a few years ahead of me and maybe doing indie app development full-time for a decade already and making tens of thousands in a month. Check out my workspace for today. Here I am kind of sleeping. Here is my laptop. And that's Armitis workspace. By comparing yourself with others, you are just killing your joy. Do not do that ever. Comparing yourself with your past self and looking forward for your future self. Yeah, that's definitely something that you should do and I am trying to do as well. And that is important to compare with what you had before and what you have now and what you are planning to have in the future. And what is important just to analyze what you did in the past, how you get here and what you're planning to do to get to the future and consistency. Pick your Pick your goal and go for it and stay consistent, that's it. Okay, it's time to go. back that was a little bit painful session for me but that was very very hard work for tattoo artist those mandalas those are it's very hard work to do oh here it is so of course that should heal a bit but yeah that will be nice and yeah here i will have i think i will have consistency here because I think that consistency is one of the most important things whatever you do. Are you making YouTube channel, trying to become indie developer or learning programming? Whatever is your mind focus, consistency is mind key. When I started YouTube channel, for example, there were plenty of YouTubers who started YouTube channel together with me. And many of them already kind of dropped their YouTube channels. Sure, there also are a few who kind of succeeded quite much more than I and have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but do not focus on that, focus on yourself. If you like to succeed in something, for example, to become a developer, you have to be consistent with your plan. You have to decide what is important for you. You have to make time for that. Because if you will try to wait until you will have time to do something, that never will happen. You will become more and more busy every year. You basically have to decide what is your mind thing. You have to focus on that and then you have to stick with that for a long period of time. If you are learning programming, you have to give yourself six to nine months to basically 
learn something from zero to get the job. Do not expect to get results faster. If it is YouTube channel that you are starting, you have to give it at least a year. I'm not saying you should stick with something forever if you do not feel that do not work anymore for you or your priorities are changed or you are not interested anymore in that specific thing. Of course, no. I'm not saying you have to pick one thing in your 20s and stick with that forever. No, of course not. That tattoo that I'm making here, that will actually cover my most of my professions that I had. I was My first work was a carpenter in the coffin factory. So that's here, this memento mori, skull, all that stuff. Then I was in police, I was in army, I was in product management. So currently it is iOS development, India building, all that stuff. Sure. You can switch between professions, you can switch between niches and so on. My point here is, if you pick something, give it the time, stick with that. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. So pick something, <laughs> do small steps every day and yeah, stick with that, be consistent and you will achieve whatever you like. Thank you for watching and most importantly, thank you for subs and yeah, I will keep making my small silly YouTube video videos and thank you for watching them. Bye.